introduction, it's time for a story. Today, we're going to read The Ugly Duckling. What do you think it's about? What makes you think that? This is illustrated, that means the pictures are drawn by Polona Lobson. Let's have a read. Look at these fluffy yellow ducklings. They have just cracked open the eggs. They are so excited. Cheep, cheep, the ducklings say to each other. Look at that big egg. Is it going to crack? The big egg is the last one to crack. Out pops a funny grey duckling with a big with big black feet and a big black beak. Everyone crowds around to look with Mother Duck. It does not look like a duckling, they say. Mother Duck gathers up her fluffy yellow ducklings and her funny grey duckling. Follow me, she says. She leads them through the farmyard. All the animals stop to stare at the funny grey duckling. They make fun of him. That's not very kind, is it? When they get to the pond, Mother Duck and the little ducklings all swim off. The funny grey duckling is left behind. Go away, says the goose. You are ugly. You are not one of us, she says. That's definitely not very kind. The funny grey duckling goes back to the barn, but the fluffy yellow ducklings won't play with him. Go away, they say. You are not like us. You don't belong here. The little duckling is very sad. He runs away. The funny grey duckling walks for miles until he comes to a cottage. The little old woman gives him some corn and milk. Go away, says the hen. You are eating all of my grain. Go away, says the cat. You are drinking all of my milk. And don't come back, say the cat and the hen. Oh dear, how do you think the little duckling feels? Should we ever make someone feel like that? No, you're right. The funny grey duckling goes back to the pond, but winter is coming and the pond is turning to ice. The funny grey duckling is cold and hungry. He sees some fine swans fly over the pond. I wish I could fly up in the sky with the swans, he thinks. The swans do not see him. They fly far away. At last, the winter turns to spring. The ducklings come back down to the pond, but they have grown up. Now they are ducks. They see the ugly grey duckling, but he has grown up too. He is not a duck at all. If I am not a duck, what can I be? He asked. Hmm, these are definitely ducks, aren't they? What do you think this is? Do you know what that's called? To swan, you're right. Then he looks down into the water and sees his reflection. I look just like a fine swan, he says, surprised. I am a swan, he shouts with joy. Just then, the fine swans fly over and land on the pond. Hello, says one of the swans. Do you want to come with us? He is so happy. Now he can fly away with the other swans. The end. That's a nice story. Just because people are different doesn't mean we should be nasty to them, should we? The little duckling looked very different, but he grew up to be a wonderful swan. Sometimes some things take a bit of time for us to know what is going to happen. But we must make sure that we are always kind to everybody. If somebody is not being kind to you, 
what do you think the right thing to do is? That's right, you must always, always tell a grown-up. So if you're at school, you can tell me, Mrs Welch, Miss Goodson, or Mr Wellard, or any of the grown-ups that you see around. Or you can tell your grown-ups at home as well. OK, it's really important that we talk about our feelings. If the little duckling had talked about his feelings, he might have found out that he was a swan sooner. And he found out, when he found out he was a swan, he was really happy. So it is really, really important that we talk about our feelings, OK? Brilliant. I'll see you all really, really soon. Bye.